the, the, the purpose of the weekend is just to to um, reinvigorate some community spirit back here in Willar because we've been decimated by uh, the, the Peabody Energy Project and uh, a lot of people have left and we just want to get a few of those older, older faces back and just let them, just send a message that we are still a strong, however small community and uh, it's, it's a great place to be and, and, and make people aware that we're still here and um, that, that we're not going anywhere just yet. We have a very large coal mine just to the west that's been operating now for 10 years and it's continuing to expand closer to us. They now own 70% of the land. We're becoming more and more stranded, uh, so we're losing all our services. But to lose the connection of the people that live in the village is really going to make life very difficult for us. Um, my dad was a sleeper cutter, so we also come out when he used to cut sleepers in country around here, railway sleepers for the railway line. I think probably 83, 84 they started putting trains on it. Well, I think there's an average of 21 a day here. This mine has destroyed a paradise. Most, um, but there's still a few of us that want to call it paradise and still want to maintain it as much as possible. Hence that's why we had this function over the weekend. And I think it worked really well. <laughs> I've been coming up to Ula on and off for over 40 years. We used to have tennis matches, cricket matches. We had a, a, a five ago based in Ula. Uh, all these community things that don't exist anymore. It's such a shame. Communities really are the roadkill of mining companies. It doesn't have an impact on uh, the company, a direct impact on the company, but if people are talking about it and saying, well, hang on a minute, how can you have, how can you be digging this whopping big hole just over the hill and, and causing all this impact with dust, noise, spontaneous combustion with a small community, you know? Uh, and if, the more people we get talking about what communities like Willara are going through, uh, the better it can be.